Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, we are into the interview preparation day two. And in this video, we are going to discuss about linear regression machine learning algorithm. Now, this particular algorithm is the most favorite algorithm of the recruiters because trust me guys, this algorithm actually sets the base of all the deep learning algorithms like ANN, that is artificial neural network, CNN, because there you'll be hearing a lot of concepts with respect to gradient descent, with respect to cost function, loss function, optimizer, and many more things. So for you as a fresher, as a starter, as an experienced person, you really need to know about linear regression and all the important interview questions that can be asked. Please make sure guys, you be perfect in this. And now based on the many feedbacks and from the wonderful response of yours from the yesterday's video of date one, you know, many people are actually saying that just continue with one video, one algorithm. So that basically means yeah, and that is a good strategy altogether because in every algorithm, I'll try to give you so much of information and within 21 to 20 days, I'll try to cover most of all the algorithms in machine learning and deep learning so that you can start preparing for the interview. So we'll go with this particular strategy where in every video, we'll try to discuss about one algorithm, which are the important question. Along with that, I'll also be providing you the YouTube link and the blog links from where you can study in depth, right? So everything will be provided. Please make sure that you guys just follow this. Don't worry about anything else. Just follow this. Try to apply that strategy in interviews because this is what has happened in the live virtual interviews which I have actually taken. When people say, I know linear regression, but when I ask them some questions, they are not able to answer. So just follow this particular strategy, guys. I'm trying to specify all the important things that may come with respect to this kind of algorithms. So let's begin, guys. And trust me, linear regression is must. You cannot skip linear regression. Now in linear regression, I have actually uploaded a lot of videos over here. You can see five videos are there because this five videos covers each and everything. Let it be theoretical understanding. Let it be practical implementation. And uh, there is also something called as ridge and lasso regression. Uh, that is also a part of linear regression guys, but I really don't want to cover that over here. Other than I, other than, because you will not be able to cover just everything in one day, but I really want you all to whatever I'm specifying in this, just try to cover it today itself. Hardly. If you know about linear regression, it'll take you around just one to two hours because everything is in front of you. Everything is actually in front of you and it will be available for you all. Okay. So please make sure that you follow this particular pattern. So first to begin with guys, we, you need to cover up the theoretical understanding with all the maths equation. You need to understand what is gradient descent. You need to understand what is cost function and everything. All those things is actually present in the first link. And if I open the first link, this is the video guys here. I've explained you, I've written each and every functions, each and every thing, each and every equations properly. And here you can actually follow these things, right? It is pretty much important. You follow this particular tutorial very, very nicely guys, because I have actually discussed about the maths part because in linear regression, you have to find the most suitable slope. You need to find out what is intercept, how you can actually tweak that do, those slope and intercept. Again, there is something called as ridge and lasso, which I'll be explaining in my next video interview preparation because ridge and lasso can also play a very, very important role. But again, the main thing is that you you need to understand this. You need to understand what is this gradient descent. You need to understand what are the important things with respect to different, different things. So this was with respect to your first video. Then in the second video here, I've actually discussed about the practical implementation. So practical implementation, all the GitHub link, everything is actually given. You can see simple linear link regression link is also given simple linear regression and GitHub. You just try to implement this. Apart from this, there are also more implementation that will be coming, which I'll be actually showing you. Now, forget about this two. Uh, once you follow these two videos, now I'll be talking about these three videos, how you should go. Now, before that, you need to understand what are the basic assumption of linear regression, because these are the most interview questions, most important interview questions. These three videos, I'll just talk about it, guys. But just understand, you have to make basically understand what are the basic assumptions. Okay, what are the basic assumptions with respect to linear regression? There are four basic assumptions, guys, and this is the most important interview question. One is linearity, one is homocidiacity, and uh, one is independence, and one is normality. Linearity basically says that there is a relationship between the x and the mean of y is linear. Uh, observations are independent of each other in independence. For any fixed value of x and y, 
they are actually normally distributed this is the most important thing and if that particular feature is not normally distributed i've already shown that in feature engineering live session that how you can make it normally distributed you have log transformation you have box cost transform you have exponential transformations so a lot of feature engineering sometimes you have to do but always understand these are the four basic assumptions that you have to consider whenever you're working with the linear regression this is the most favorite interview question guys please do make sure that this is the most favorite interview question i myself have asked candidates and the candidates were not able to answer it they know about linear regression but when i ask this kind of basic assumptions they don't know that because probably they may have used sk learn or they may don't have the whole theoretical understanding of these things the basic assumption of linear regression is pretty much important please make sure that guys this is a wonderful favorite interview questions i'll just update it over here the favorite interview question because from here you can derive many questions as such then suddenly they'll say that okay what if your data is not normally distributed right you'll just say that i'll be trying to apply some kind of transformation techniques like log normal transformation like uh, box cox exponential transform power power law transformation and different kind of transformation now coming to the next interview question is that and this is pretty much important what are the advantages you know so a linear regression performs exceptionally well for linear separable data as we know that because it is just creating a straight line with respect to the data that we have uh, easy to implement and train the model yes it can handle overfitting using dimensional reduction techniques and cross validation and regularization now whatever i'm talking about regularization over here guys i'm basically talking about ridge and lasso regression which will be covered in my next video some of the disadvantages sometime lot of feature engineering is required as i told you that the assumption right whatever linear regression makes is with respect to normal distribution this is just one example right suppose if it is what if what if the independent features are not normally distributed then what you do is that you try to convert that into normal distribution through some other technique so based on that you have to do a lot of feature engineering to assume that all this particular assumption has taken care of right when this assumption is basically taken care of then your linear regression will definitely perform well okay now this was one disadvantage if the independent features are correlated it may affect performance now this is where a concept of multi collinearity actually comes so with respect to this the third tutorial link that i have given over here is something called as multi collinearity in linear regression this is very very important this basically says that suppose you have 50 features and in that uh you have 50 features you have one dependent feature suppose in that 50 feature you have 20 features 20 independent features that are highly correlated with each other like those 20 core features are more than 90% correlated with each other at this particular time you know there is a situation of multi collinearity in that particular data set so there are ways to solve that and again some kind of feature engineering will get involved some kind of statistical analysis will get involved so for that i've created this particular video see guys i'm telling you maths intuition practical the problems disadvantage everything is getting covered it is just you have to devote around 1 to 2 hours to do it perfectly okay this is what i really want you all to do guys don't focus on 100 things at a time one by one just prepare in this particular strategy i promise you you will be able to get the jobs very very easily you just need to follow these things okay now uh if i come down so if the independent features are correlated it may affect performance so in that particular case also if you see 20 features are actually correlated to each other what you can do it is up to you because you know all the techniques that i have mentioned you can also answer that in the description of this particular video then it is often quite prone to noise and overfitting i'll tell you what is this noise and overfitting noise can be an outlier data and other things whether feature scaling is required this is again a very important question remember guys uh, whenever we are talking about gradient descent whenever we are talking about loss function optimizer there feature scaling will be required in ann if somebody ask you in artificial neural network krish do we need to do feature engineering sorry do we need to do feature scaling right do we need to fe do feature scaling by using some techniques like normalization min max scale or something then you should say yes if somebody ask you why because there you use something called as gradient descent if you don't try to do feature scaling then your gradient descent will be pretty much bigger right to come to that optimal minima it may take time so here is one video where i have actually explained you about this see in this only if what if what if your gradient descent is very very big right 
and this is only when it is big when you have not done any feature scaling right for those features you will be getting a big gradient descent but if you try to scale down those features if you create this gradient descent it will be a smaller one and to come to that global minima optimal minima it will take very very less time you need to and make them understand this is the most inter important interview questions if they say that why feature scaling is required because our global minima that will act actually help us to reach the global minima very very quickly okay because there are we don't know like how many number of iterations they will be doing right based on your alpha value based on your learning rate all those kind of parameters right if your gradient descent is also small and this gradient descent becomes small when you are actually rescaling down your features okay this is pretty much important and if somebody ask you this particular question that whether feature scaling is required or not you should say yes so that we will be able to reach the global minima quickly okay now uh impact of the missing values okay now as i told you that sometimes you need to do a lot of feature engineering and suppose if there are a lot of missing values in linear regression also right if there are a lot of missing values you'll use some strategy to replace the values and all and if that strategy does not work well it will definitely be sensitive to the missing values so this is pretty much important and linear regression do not handle missing values we have to handle them with the help of feature engineering okay coming to the next question impact of the outliers now you see obviously everybody knows that linear regression is sensitive to outliers suppose i have one this is what was my initial point suppose i have one outlier now you can see that this line is getting changed completely because of this particular point to just reduce the mean squared error now what is mean squared error it is nothing but performance metrics okay so for with respect to performance metrics i'll be discussing about how you can actually check the performance metrics and all uh, for that also i have made a video which is called as r squared and adjusted r squared this is pretty much important within this r squared adjusted r squared when you understand you'll be able to understand mean squared error you'll be able to understand mean root squared error and many more parameters as such and if you are a member of my channel guys the first project that i have actually done is something called as air quality index there i have actually done with each and every A regression algorithm like linear regression ridge lasso xg boost regressor decision tree regressor random forest regressor everything and there you will be also able to see the, all the performance metrics that i have actually used okay so this is pretty much important you should definitely say that what is the impact of outlier because this is the condition that will happen definitely to reduce this we can use ridge and lasso and we'll try to uh, focus on how to actually solve that problem in our next uh, video itself okay type of the problems it can solve is regression uh, overfitting and underfitting is the homework that i am actually trying to give it to you, you guys uh, because everything i am explaining you over here by this i think you will be able to understand what is overfitting and underfitting um, <laughs> with respect to this again i have created a video over here that is called as bias and variance in depth intuition i have covered both for regression and classification problem statement and if i go over here guys you will be able to see the link in this fifth so these are the five links that you need to follow to be perfect in linear regression and all the interviews that you it will be coming you will be able to answer it i guarantee that okay if you if you study it properly okay so coming to this what are the different problem statement you can solve using linear regression advanced house price prediction flight price prediction this i have actually done in my own channel uh, you can check this in my live stream playlist in my machine learning pipelines and all now after you do all these things suppose you really want to practice some more example just go and click on this practical implementation just go and deep dive into each and every parameters once guys okay just go and deep dive and try to understand each and every parameters you also need to understand how to perform hyperparameter tuning in linear regression so for that we have something called as ridge and lasso regression that again i'll be going to cover in my next session now one thing is that there are many examples that has been done see you, you can talk about r square right r square is also there adjusted r square is also there when to use r square when to use adjusted r square what is the importance of adjusted r square you can all get in this particular explanation that i have actually made it over here right so it will be pretty much important for you all to understand if you really want to practice some more problems examples using sklearn dot linear model or regression you have so many examples so many examples just try to perform this and yes recent version of sklearn that is point 23.2 is basically getting used so please make sure that you follow all these particular strategies guys and just try to practice this suppose you want to try with ordinary re square don't worry about ridge regression lasso regression i'll try to show you you can see linear regression example just click over here all the code will be given to you just try it out and just try to see how how the results you are actually getting and just try to follow this things that you really want to prepare for linear regression 
again uh, it's a very very small request guys linear regression is must for everyone this is probably the most favorite interview uh, interview questions for or a interviewer because they will be focusing on linear regression because they also know linear regression is the base for all the an deep learning algorithms like ann you need to understand important concepts like cost function gradient descent from there you'll be able to derive so many questions which will be which you will be definitely comfortable with you know by that you'll be able to gain the confidence of the interviewer so i hope you like this particular video again everything will be given in my github link over there in this video itself in the description just go and check it out and yes uh, i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe and one more request guys one more request after you practice day 1 day 2 day 3 right for every day whoever completes guys share it in the linkedin you know as i told you the strategy that was used yesterday uh, by arjya basu I, i think you have actually seen that video arjya what he did whatever he practiced he shared that work in the linkedin right at least a screenshot something video recording something right and then he was actually able to get lot of internship because many people started note you know noticing that that the arjya was actually working on some or the other thing and by that he's still in the final year he's able to get so many internships there that this is his probably his second internship and probably after 2 to 3 months he may also get hired by the company after practicing it share it in the linkedin it will also help the other connections common connection and tell everyone about this interview preparation guys every link will be given in the description guys so i hope you like this particular video uh, i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all bye bye